This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its seventh year. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey, this is the Rambo. That's in white. Alex, it's in red. That's because I'm to the left of the left of the right wing or whatever you have. Anyway, hello everybody. How are you? Oh, uh, wait a minute. I gotta go. I gotta do something here. This door is open for some reason, and it shouldn't be uh, because if I have the door open. Uh, my wife, who is trying to sleep because she has to go to work tomorrow, will hear all the noise coming out of this studio, and I can't have that happen now, can I? Hi, right. yeah. Anyway, it's uh, it's uh, Wednesday. We we tend to be doing our shows now Wednesday through Friday, um, and I'm I'm feeling a little more rested as a result of it, and um, it's giving my eyes are starting to heal up almost completely. Mm. That's really nice, but let's uh, let's do what we do when uh, for the first show of the week. No matter when we do it, um, we actually should probably go and uh, deal with uh, uh, Phil Meyer, uh, which is uh, the guy who is. Uh, let me see here. Before I do that, I want to put his name here so that it comes up. Okay, there we go. There's Phil Meyer. Hello, Philip. How are you? How you doing? Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Also, there's somebody trying to, to come in here, and I can't let him in right now. So I just will do that. Okay. So I got to get trying to encroach on the uh, Wednesday tete a Yeah, yeah. Well, it's Charlie Wallace. He calls early, and he's ready to go. Uh, and uh, you know, we'll put him on later. Okay. You know. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Uh, Tonight. And by the way, this is Phil Meyer. That's why they, I had to go get that writing underneath him. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm I'm not using the green screen tonight. I'm just using the uh, uh, the built-in green screen. Yeah, that built-in thing they've got. It, it's not that good. You know, it kind of see see you can see. Put your hands up, and you kind of see you'll have webbed hands. Is kind of what happens. Yeah. But, hey, it anyway. looks like Patrick. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Anyway. Well, uh, yeah. How was your weekend? My weekend was dull. Nothing much happened. You know, yeah. I mean, it's just uh, all weekend I was worrying about one thing or another, you know, because I'm dealing with lawyers and I'm dealing with my doctors and, uh, you know. Yeah. Well, the eyes but, are looking better. Yeah. I mean, my doctor pissed me off this week. Yeah. My, but this is the, uh, the, um, Internist, you know, he's a cardiologist, but he works as my primary doctor, right? Yeah. So he gets uh, a a report back on me, and it says I'm low on platelets, or my platelets are slightly low, which is no big deal. Okay, yeah. that could just come from the radiation I had, right? Could have come from the flu that you had, or whatever it was. In any event, okay. He then uh, he he then took a urine specimen to see if I had any blood in it. And I always tell him, I always tell him there is blood in my urine. A small minute amount of blood always shows up in my urine. It has been happening that way for the last 20 years. Numerous people have tested for it to see what it might be or whatever. And uh, it turns out to be nothing, all right? And that include two cystoc cystoscopies from a doctor who saw this as a godsend for his wallet and decided every time I found blood, well, we gotta do it just to make sure it isn't bladder cancer. So finally, I went to my, my urologist, my new one, the one I really like, and he put the dipstick in, and I said, I usually have blood in my uh, in my urine. And he said, well, you don't right now, but he said, if you did, no big deal. You know, if, if, if it's a regular thing with you, then it's just coming from somewhere like a kidney or something like that. How did that work for Colin Powell? Well, anyway, no, it's, we're not. It, it, we'll get into that in a little bit. Uh, so then, uh, I uh, isn't it funny? I always talking about medicine on this show now. Um, and then the other thing was he checked my 
my kidney thing, you know, my kidneys, or what they call GFR, whatever that stands for. And last time, which was a year and nine months ago that I got it, it said, you're a little low here, but then he circled it and it said, okay. All right? And then uh, he uh, wrote a note saying, you're, uh, you, you have slightly, uh, uh, well, I don't know, disrupted kidney function or something like that, just mild, right? And, he, and they circled it and said, okay. All right, now, cut to now, all right? So he finds that I still have that same problem with the kidneys, and I still have the same problem with the blood in the urine. Now, I've told him any number of times, that's normal, forget it, don't worry about it, I've got a urologist, he'll keep on top of it, right? Um, and then he, and he, he, in his letter to me, he says, uh, see your urologist, or if you don't have one, we can re recommend one. What do you mean you can recommend one? This is the guy you recommended to me long time ago, all right? And you know I have a urologist. And then he says, in the same message, um, uh, kidney function uh, is slightly uh, disrupted or whatever, uh, but mild, uh, and uh, just drink lots of water, all right? And then he says, with the pl blood platelets, have it checked in about a month again, all right? So, okay, fine. So now I get a letter the other day with a prescription, right? to go have my test. But it's not only for the blood test, it's also for the urine test and for the kidney test. But and you I'm, just had. Well, I'm thinking to myself, yeah, I, I, I went back and I looked at my old kidney test from a year and nine months ago, and it was actually worse than the one I just got. The one I just got was an improvement over the old one. What does he expect to find in a month? Well, maybe he wants to make sure that the test was accurate. It doesn't matter whether the test is accurate or not. You compare it to the last one, and when you see that actually my kidney function has gotten better, you, you use that as the comparison. Wouldn't that seem to be logical? Well, possibly, but nothing's logical. No, nothing's logical where doctors are concerned. And then have another urine test. What? Why? I told you. I, you know? Uh, what kind of car does he drive? I don't know, but I guess he's trying to buy a better one. Yeah. And then he wrote me and he says, time for you to have your electrocardiogram. Yeah, okay, it's another 400 bucks in his pocket. You know, I, I don't mind doing that. You know, that's a nice thing to have checked up, you know. 400 bucks, but the insurance company only pays like $8.15. I hope so. I hope so. And then we then let's see here from our lawyer we get a um, we get a um, a bill for twenty seven hundred dollars that he said was sent on the third of September but we never got it and uh, you know I'm going what's this about well I was you know I, I did a lot of thinking over the weekend about your case when I started thinking I wrote down when it started and when it ended you know I mean come on. You know, I mean, what kind of car does he drive? <laughs> I have no idea, but we're not made of money, all right? You know, I mean, and and this is uh, this has cost us a lot of money. And I'll tell you something: we've spent a hundred thousand dollars, and we're no further ahead where from where we were in the beginning. In fact, we're probably a little bit behind. So, what am I paying all this money out for? If I'm, you know, it's been nine years, Phil. No, Nine goddamn years. Yeah. Well, uh, tonight, uh, oh, by the way, your eyes are looking good. Of course, they're looking great. I'm looking about, what, 10 years younger? So Five uh, years younger? A year and a half younger? Any Anything will take, you know, take anything you can get. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, anyway, I uh, just got back from uh, Ruth's Chris and the Cigar Bar with uh, your buddy, Alan Wine. Mm -hmm. And uh, they, they plied me with liquor. Uh, we had two bottles of wine, steaks, and then we went to the Cigar Bar. And I'm still lightheaded from the cigar. I don't, I don't know. Uh, you know, uh, you know what I don't get is why you go to Ruth's Chris Steakhouse. Uh because when when you you there's always Tad Steakhouse, you know. Uh, 
for, well, Tad Steakhouse used to be what four dollars and fifty cents for a steak. When I when I bought it, when my father said it, bought it, when we first bought it, it was right next to the Musicians Union too. So that's why we went. I think it was a dollar ninety nine for a steak, and you got a potato, and you got a couple other things with it too, and um, it was a great steak. As years went on, it went up to about fifteen dollars, which was still very cheap. But the steak was just horrid. Yeah. Uh, I I did a uh, job years ago, for the Union Square Hotel, mm -hmm. which was, uh, like on the corner of Ellis and Powell. Yeah. Uh, they rented the down their lobby was next to the Tad Steakhouse, mm -hmm. and. Um, I used to, while that job was going on, I used to go there and and get a steak and and, and eat. But uh, it was it wasn't a bad place, you know, for for what it is. But I I like Ruth's Chris. It's consistent. It's like the McDonald's of uh, of steaks. You know, you go anywhere in the in the country, anywhere in the world, a McDonald's burger tastes like a McDonald's burger. Mm -hmm. It's consistency that makes them successful. I'll tell you something. You go, yeah. You you go into a McDonald's anywhere in the world, and it's the same smell. Right. You ever know? Have you been to another, gone to it in other countries? Oh. Huh? Some sort of fat and salt. Something. Something. Yeah. Well, so I finally I finally kicked the McDonald's habit. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, the exercise that I'm doing. I, I'm just I'm start, I'm eating better, and. Uh, I'm keeping my sugar in, in check, and uh, I'm staying out of McDonald's. I'm staying out of all the fast food places, and I'm I'm making better choices. Yeah. I, well, I figure it's time for me to diet again. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, huh? Do it Atkins, or are you going to do something different? I'll do Atkins. Yeah, but I just I, I you know it's hard for me. It was hard for me to do because Marjorie it keeps making food for me. She goes, "Okay, we're having pea soup tonight." Do you know what the worst carbo-laden soup is anywhere? Mm. Pea soup. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. You, you, you know, you have a problem that when I start talking, your, your sound goes down. Do you have your thing set so that it, it doesn't... Uh, I, I hmm? just have the time to sit down with Obedia and hook up the... Uh, yeah, but the forget about that. This may be the way you've got your Zoom set. In that you've got it set so that it compresses. Well, when I talk to Obedia and they set up the other unit, I'll tell them that this happens, and they'll be able to fix the settings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, anyway, so what else is new, Phil? Uh, other than, uh, you know, we, we went out. I got back uh, 15 minutes before the show, because Ruth's Chris is only around the corner from my apartment. Oh, okay. Uh, I took my car because it's raining here. I mean, it's 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 raining and it's going to rain for the rest of the week. Uh, mm -hmm. I heard on the news, PG&E said that there's thousands of customers in the Bay Area that have lost power. Really? Uh, you know, we need the rain. Uh, I'm not crazy about losing power. Mm -hmm. have, have you experienced any of these kinds of blackouts or rolling blackouts in New York like they do? Well, I, you know, I, I never drank so much. That I blacked out, so I yeah. No, I don't. I don't know. You know, I, I, we we. What happens here in New York? Well, we've had we've had massive blackouts in this town, as you know, but on a, only a couple of occasions in the last fifty years. But they were doozies. Yeah. I mean, there was one that was. I think the whole city was out for twenty four hours. I was there uh, as a kid for the 60, 1965 blackout. Mm -hmm. It was a big deal. Yeah. <laughs> I uh, was here for the what year was it that it happened? Uh, it happened in uh, 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 probably oh god maybe 80, uh, 93, 90, uh, maybe no two thousand and three uh, two thousand and four something like that I can't remember forget it my memory is so are are you prepared for blackouts? Do, do you prep it all? Do you get candles? Do you get lanterns? Do you get one of those radios that you can listen to? No. Emergency channel? No. Uh, have uh, a food stores? I, no. Uh, well, I mean, we could, you know, we got enough stuff sto stored here food-wise where we could probably 
keep eating for several weeks if we had to. Have a way to cook it. Uh, no. Well, we have gas. Yeah. And, and uh, in electricity going out, gas probably still works. Yeah, you would hope. I would hope. You know, so. yeah, I've bought all of those things. I, I watch on YouTube these guys that camp and do what's called bushcraft very interesting it's not that i would ever go camping i mm -hmm. i you know camping to me is to check into a nice hotel with a spa and uh but you know i've i've you watch those youtubes and i've bought uh a, a jet boil which uh can not only be a french press but can also boil water in 60 seconds so and then i bought these um uh, foods that will last 25 years and you you tear open the package uh and you take the water that you generated in the jet boil mm -hmm. and you put the food in there and it makes them it makes a nice meal now they say it's a nice meal it's been reviewed by these other youtubers i've never opened the container so uh I'm so you hoping don't know i'll tell you what happened to me this week i i go to i go to make my coffee in my big giant keurig right and uh, it, uh, a note comes up and it says, uh, your system is clogged. Well, that's not good. So I'm, I'm looking, I'm trying to figure out where's it clogged. I try to unclog it and whatever. And all of a sudden I notice this little piece is falling off and, and it's the pin in the bottom that pierces that's the, the cup that then, you know. So uh, that's, that's gone bad. So I went crazy, I gotta have a Keurig. So I, I uh, call out to Instacart and I send them over to uh, Costco to buy me one, which is normally $135, but it's $35 off. So I got it for about 100 bucks. Comes with a bunch of coffee. Yeah, no, and I thought it would just be, you know, screwed. And really, it was better in many ways than the one that I had because to begin with, it starts making coffee immediately. Really? Yeah. I, for the other one, I had to wait for it to warm up for about two minutes and then to make it brew. Here, you put in, you open up the top, you put in your K-cup. When you close the top, the machine turns on. You can so press one button to, that you preset for all the settings you want. Next thing you know, it's, it's, it's making coffee. In a standby mode? Huh? in a standby mode is that why it starts no no it was it's completely off until i start making it and then it starts it waits a couple of seconds and then the coffee starts coming through and it's hot does it look the same as the, as oh, the yeah. last one no no this smaller and plus it, it before i used to have to take this tank and and fill it in the sink and then be gingerly bring it over to the thing and, and uh, hook it onto the thing and I'd probably spill water half the time. They've got a new thing. It's just simply, it's a, it's a larger size actually. And it's got a handle on it and a top. So, I mean, I just, it's, it's, it's brilliant. It's wonderful. But I wasn't about to be done with a broken curry. So I looked up what might be broken and I replaced the part for $22 from, from Amazon. If you want a really working good uh, uh, coffee maker, I got it. I got it working again. Just boom, like that, you know. You put one in the studio and mm -hmm. one in the kitchen. I have no room in the studio, and there's no reason for one to be in the studio. Well, the, the reason that I don't have the green screen up, and I'm going to buy one like you have, where you just... You, it's you so lift, simple, yeah. Lift it up, and, it, and it's there. because mm -hmm. What uh, he's talking green, about is this, folks. Wait a minute. Hold on, just so people can see. See? So, uh, that makes so much more sense because the one I have with the fabric that hangs on it, mm -hmm. then I have to unclip the fabric, throw it over so I can Yeah, no, go, get one of these. They're cheap enough. I mean, you can get them for about 150 bucks now, maybe less, you know. And, uh, you know, it works just fine. But anyway, uh, so what, what else is happening, Phil? As I said, uh, they, uh, Alan and uh, Paul and Todd and Jim all took me. Well, we went to Ruth's Chris, and then we went for cigars. Mm -hmm. And supplied me with liquor. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was feeling no pain mm -hmm. when, I, uh, when I came home. Uh, 
work-wise, you know, I can't hire anybody. It is a, it, it's a fiasco uh, trying to hire anyone. I can't even get anybody to interview. And uh, I have a service that is running the ads and uh, mm -hmm. supposedly interviewing people so they don't know it's me you mm -hmm. know i you know it couldn't be oh well i wouldn't work for phil you know it, it's got to be uh, there's there's nobody out there that wants to work and the more people i talk mm -hmm. to they say the same the same thing that uh where are these people getting their money if they they've cut off the unemployment they mm -hmm. cut off the extra unemployment where, where are, uh, they're, they're all working for other people. They just don't want to work for you. Probably. That's <laughs> what I thought. But I've come to the conclusion that because restaurants. You want to hear how popular you are? Only 21 people are watching us right now. And I keep wondering, why do I keep doing this? Well, uh, you don't have to. I no, mean, I don't have to. Don't you buy? And anyway, I want to bring up something. You, uh, you, you are such a pest about stuff. If if you say something and and you're you're questioned about it, you immediately have to go find any information that will justify it. And the other week we got into the argument. You said there were more deaths last year from COVID than there were this year from COVID. Well, and, I said and, and and you can't go by the statistics you sent me. No, they came from Hannity. No, 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 but worse than that, you have to think about the logic. Yeah. All right? To well, begin well, with, wait a minute, last year, beginning of the year, we had no COVID. We didn't have COVID really till about March 15th, we started realizing we had a problem. Huh? That's Boy, you're really cutting out. I mean, you have to wait. You, you, why don't you go into, go, go into your Zoom, okay? And go into the settings. You know how to get into the settings. Okay, preferences. Yeah, audio. Video. No, audio. Don't want you want audio. You want audio. Okay. Uh, what are you? Background noise. Learn. Oh, automatically adjust microphone volume. Turn that oh. off. Turn that off. Okay. Has that made a difference? Uh, you talk to me now. I, I, I unclicked that. Is that making a difference? It's making a bit of a difference, yeah. Well, I, I yep. you know, mm -hmm. I must have bought a, a discounted version of Zoom, you know. And and, and, and no, and uh, turn off the turn off background noises too. Okay, let me uh, go back into yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, uh, audio. Uh, okay, suppress background noise. You don't want it. Uh, you don't want that checked. So I should go into let's say medium. Medium or, what? I have uh, auto, low, medium, or high. High what? Uh, suppressing background noise. Uh, low. Oh, okay. Let's try that. Okay. Right. Now we'll just continue. Anyway, let me get back to this whole thing about the statistics yeah. last year. I was thinking about it. And, and the statistics, pretty much if you want to go by those numbers, are correct, except there are a few varying situations here number one it didn't start until march 15th and then it was slowly ramping up okay so the whole year was not as bad as it was when we finally hit january 1st of this year and uh then it wasn't until about the middle of march this year that the covid vaccinations if you got them we're taking effect, right? All right. So, so really, uh, th the amount of last year that we had was not the same as the amount we had this year. I mean, it's, it's, you can't compare year to year because different things were in play at the time. Yeah, but that that, that means nothing. As a matter of fact, that probably means we have less this year, uh, uh, because we didn't because we didn't have a. Uh, it, we didn't have the the vaccine really until about March fifteenth of this year. Hannity, Hannity. I don't give him. a shit what Hannity says. Hannity's a fucking moron. Quoting Johns Hopkins University. Yes, that. but the, but he's not taking into effect. He's taking into effect the whole year, and he's not taking into effect what happened in each of those years. You got to realize also, there was vaccine hesitancy. 
that went on this year. And during that period of time, we had more deaths than we had at any other time last year. Well, here, look, his statistic is that 352,000 people died in 2020. Yeah, All but, right. But that is just purely a number that, that you are not looking at the mitigating circumstances. Other statistic is that 372,000 died through October 17th. So it wasn't a full year for uh, for uh, uh, 2021. That's that is correct, but it also wasn't a full year for 2020. It was it within a month. Now, <laughs> no, but 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 the point I'm making is there were different things happening. For instance, we weren't we didn't get the vaccine really ramped up till about April of this year. Huh? January. January of this year. No, okay. January of this year. They just uh, said we're going to do it and whatever. I didn't get my second shot till the 27th of February. I got my second shot on the 11th of February. Okay, but that means that it wasn't effective till two weeks later. I got my first shot. But the point I'm making here, Phil, is that you then had the, the hesitancy and you had the Delta virus which was much more potent than anything that was happening last year. Yes, but what, I'm, what this statistic says is that even with the, uh, the vaccines that we've had since uh, late January, mm -hmm. that we have still had numbers that are very close. Now, Alan keeps saying that the CD, CDC said that those numbers are kind of reversed. He says that this year it wasn't 372 it was more like 328 or 340 330 and uh, and the year before we're in agreement that it was 352 so what i see here based on these numbers is that even with the vaccine we're getting s similar numbers and even though according to Allen and the CDC, it may be a little low, a little bit lower this year than it was last year. I'll tell you, we have, it, some, we have somebody here named uh, Hayseen or whatever, I don't know. A, but he says, I know dozens of people who died from COVID over a year and a half, over the last year and a half. I know zero who died from the flu in my whole life. I have yeah. eyes and ears. I don't need to debate statistics. There's been plenty of people that have died from the flu, uh, you know, maybe nowhere near the numbers that have died from COVID. But, you know, when I look at this, whether it, you know, whether Hannity posted it or not, uh, Johns Hopkins uh, School of Medicine is saying that, you know, we're having uh, a lot of COVID deaths this year. And and we have yes, and we've had a lot this year because we have the Delta virus to begin with, which was a far more uh, virulent strain than it had been here originally. That's for starters. And secondly, there was the vaccine hesitancy, which caused a lot of people to become ill. You got to remember, in about April of this year, uh, May of this year, we had some horrible months there, and that was because of the vaccine hesitancy. I'm not sure. Uh, when the Delta uh, took place, I believe it was over the summer mm -hmm. uh, that the Delta virus. No, the Delta virus uh, much earlier than that. You know, it started coming over from India, I think, in something like March. Yeah. So anyway, hey, listen, there are other people that want to call talk here. Well, can you stick on a little bit? Just a little bit. You know, you don't have to stay through the whole thing. Plus, we've got to figure out your, your sound's still doing what it was doing, and I have no idea why. I guess you better... It's a good thing because then I don't talk over other people. <laughs> That's true. Okay, let me see here. I'm uh, I'm getting. Uh, let's see here. here. Oh, there's Brian Neary. Hello, Brian. I haven't seen you in about a month or so. Hello. Uh, yeah, I haven't yeah. seen you. Well, I, I, I didn't see you the week that I was sick, and then I didn't see anybody for about a week and a half after that. And then you had all your baseball games and everything, and and work and uh this is the first time so it's great to great to see you there i've been listening yeah okay oh your wife hey, hi now you already walked in you already walked in say hello hey how are you good to see you good to see him too yeah, <laughs> yeah baseball uh 
Yeah, so baseball was uh, well, very, very uh, active. Ba- on baseball. Baseball's been my undoing because where Charlie's concerned, it's because he coaches baseball. Well, umpire. Huh? Yeah. You, you umpire? Okay. Yeah. And then War- Warriors played last night, so it was a good game. Oh, I see. Um, and football, I think football doesn't start for another year. Uh, <laughs> hey. Charlie, Charlie knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, now wait a minute. Uh, let, let me see here. Um, um, Charlie is wearing uh, his, he's very good when it comes to, uh, uh, the, uh, what do you call it, uh, t-shirts. It says, never trust an atom, they make up everything. <laughs> That's terrific. Let me get rid of Phil Meyer's uh, name here. Oh, I thought you were going to get rid of Phil. (laughs) No, I'm just going to get rid of his name. I just noticed it was still It looks like he has an idea. Huh? Looks like he has an idea. Oh, yeah, because he's he's a little... Yeah, he's got the moon right there, right right above his head. Yeah. Glowing. Glowing. Yeah, yeah. Glowing. By the way, we had 90,000 COVID deaths in January 2021 alone. So that's one seventh of our whole entire COVID death just in one year, in one month. And yeah. We've had the we've had the vaccine, and we're still getting uh, 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 massive amounts of COVID deaths. But not we, no, not no, vaccinated no. people. Not well, we. You're saying, wait a minute, hold on. See, he said massive amounts of deaths. Everybody have a drink. He's wrong on that. The massive amount of cases has been among the people who didn't have uh, who didn't have the COVID vaccine. Among the people who've had the COVID vaccine, it's still ridiculously low. Yes, but if you bring down the the number of people because they die, then the percentage of people that are vaccinated will be greater. So, you know, but we have a very virulent strain with the Delta, and the ones that aren't vaccinated are being killed off in droves. In other Much words, if you rate. don't if you don't have it, Phil, if you don't have the vaccine, y- y- your chances of dying are pretty good. But if you do have the vaccine, yeah, you can still get a breakthrough case of COVID. These happen in about what? What? Anybody know what the percentage on that is? Alan, do you have the percentage? Less than one tenth of a percent actually have breakthrough uh covid yeah. all right uh colin powell uh he didn't he, he didn't die of covid he, he died, died of uh, he died of cancer he also what what else did he have he had a few other things uh he was a, he he probably would have died soon anyway but the covid just simply exacerbated it so i'm tired of these people who go oh look colin powell died and he was vaccinated yeah it That's like Fox one guy gets killed in a in a car where he's wearing a seatbelt. That means nobody should ever wear seatbelts again. No. He, you know, Fox News two minutes after his family announced his death, uh, jumped on it and didn't didn't say he was a great American. Thirty five years in the military, nothing. All they said was he died of COVID. The vaccine's not working. That's not true. Yeah, it is. I watched the damn thing. Fake news, Alan. Yeah, <laughs> only according to you. That's funny. Well, how do you make fake news about the fake news? Isn't that redundant? Alan. All you got to do is ask Alan, and you'll know how to make fake news about fake news. I think Phil had too much wine at dinner. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There's you Tony. about dinner, Phil? There's yeah. Tony. So Alan, what? Uh, Alan brings a bottle of wine. It's 30 years old. <clears throat> or it's something newer, you know? Mm-hmm. I liked it. I like the newer one that you poured. I told by the you way, that. by the way, uh, uh, to show you how everything is relative, I, I looked on the good side of things. The other day, I get a bill from my dentist for something he did back in October. Right? I don't know what's with people sending bills late these days. Oh, it's COVID. It's been a COVID. Pro- no, it isn't. You just you're fucked up. You're not sending me a bill, right? So they sent me a bill for twenty seven hundred dollars for my implant. Oh my God! Didn't the wow. insurance pick it up? Well, it, picked, it, it would have picked it up, except that the new insurance I have doesn't cover implants. Any, anyway, forget about forget about that. Here's how I looked at the good side of this. I looked at Marjorie and I went, 
Yeah, $2,900 for my implant. But you know something? That's six hours from a lawyer. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> because we got a bill for twenty seven hundred dollars from our lawyer, you know. Our lawyer, you know. So every time you talk to him, Alex, would he charge you your lawyer like he, when you were working? Like say when you if you send him an email, would they charge you for that? You think? Yeah. Oh yeah. I had a lawyer once, uh, Mr. Turtle. You may you remember said, Mr. Turtle. You were afraid to talk. You don't want a lawyer. You really don't want a lawyer named Mr. Turtle. That's why I got rid of him and went and got a lawyer named a lawyer named Mr. Reamer. There, that's a good lawyer. I want some action, not somebody's going to be in But but anyway, uh, I sent Mr. Turtle. I swear to you, this is true. I sent him a, a, a happy birthday email. Oh, that's nice. Wasn't that nice? Happy birthday, Joel. Uh, good to. Happy, many more wonderful years. It's great having you as a friend. It's on my next bill. Oh my God. That he got it and read it. You gave him a reminder, let me see what he owes on the docket. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and I called him up, I said, you're charging me for wishing you a happy birthday? He says, whoops. <laughs> so I, this, this, this lawyer, this lawyer, <laughs> this lawyer calls me. He says, "Well, we have a meeting on Tuesday, and oh. I need to talk to you." <laughs> what does that mean? How much is it going to cost? <laughs> no time, in my opinion, to uh -huh. make a call and be professorial about law. You know, I'm not taking a legal course. Just talk really <laughs> fast and get out of there in 15 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> Each one of these calls was an hour. And I'm looking at it, and I'm going, 450 on. bucks, uh, <laughs> another 450 bucks. Boy, I'm on my way to another <laughs> implant. You know, so, I mean, it's just ridiculous. It's ridiculous. So, so I, uh, I went I went to, I had to drop off my car. Actually, I had to pick something up at McLaren. Yeah. And they have my new my new keys. And this is covered by warranty, right? Because when I bought the car, they were bad. So I got the new, I got them. But right when I started up the car, alarm went off. And so when I went there, I told them about the alarm. It was an oil alarm. So I said, can you guys check that out while well, it's here? So it's sort of good timing that it went off. I turned it off and restarted and it started right up. But that alarm was like blinking and everything going crazy. I said, yeah, sure, we'll check it out. Mm -hmm. So now, like three weeks later, I get a bill in the mail, $625. So I called them to find out what it is, and they haven't called me back yet. But I bet it's for... But, but was it for that? Alarm. Was it for I, that? No, it had to be. That's the only thing that... So I'm like, whoa, wait, 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 wait. No, if I say check something, it's going to be $600. I got to gotta, I gotta, I gotta tell you something, you know. I mean, if, for instance, there are people who do have to have lawyers because suddenly they get sued by somebody for no reason at all. And they themselves are not particularly wealthy. There should be something in the law that assigns them uh, or may, has a lawyer have to do pro bono work mm -hmm. so that they, I mean, why, why? I'm completely, I'm not guilty of anything in this whole situation. No, you're kind of like a victim, really. And I pay, we paid over $100,000 in legal See, that's fees. not fair. We're, and we're, kids, we're kids. seniors. We're living, I'm living on a fixed income, for Christ's sake. You know? Loses how to pay the other. <laughs> He's got my wolf. What'd you, what'd you say? Guy who loses how to pay yeah. guy's attorney's bills, then there'd oh, be really? far fewer cases uh, brought to try, uh, uh, brought up. Yeah, but it doesn't happen. And the fact is, that in most cases, okay, let's say for some reason I can charge this guy with costing me all this, okay? And let's say he gets nothing and he loses, okay? So now he owes me $100,000 in lawyer's fees. What do I have to do in order to get that? Sue him? You might have to, yeah, I was going to say, you may have to count. You know, it's a never ending. So, I mean, I just want out of it. I just. We should have never been in the middle of this case to begin with. And if I'd known it would take this long and cost this much, I'd be we'd be living downtown. You know, we wouldn't be living here. Well, you could have lived in Trump Tower, but uh, you, you know what they yeah. say? <laughs> Just you will. Fall. That, that's that's the wait, 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 everybody be quiet, because anytime you talk, he gets muted. Only do it when he's <laughs> making a point that you don't agree with. Go ahead, Phil. <laughs> Justice, can you afford? If you didn't have the hundred thousand that you laid out, you would have been out of there 
and and you wouldn't have had any any recourse. Uh, well, it was so, money we borrowed and paid back. It was Marjorie's uh, home equity loan. You know, you know, Brian. I think that that six hundred dollars they put half a quart of oil in. Yeah, okay. yeah. Oh, that that's a full oil change. It's just six hundred dollars. <laughs> Oh, well, I remember this guy who came by to fix our uh, our washer. And by the time he was through, it cost us a thousand dollars. What washer? For and the, a new one, new one of those washer dryer combinations would have only cost me fifteen hundred. Well, uh, Brian, you know, it, it, when somebody buys a McLaren, it's God mm -hmm. be telling you that you made too much money. You know, and and uh, now I can talk and nobody. Oh can yeah, hear you me. bought him a. You, you bought, keep talking, Phil. Go ahead. What you, were you saying? You, you oh. bought a McLaren. <laughs> Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> that doesn't work for you. I can't mooch you. Mooch you. Phil drives a ten-year-old Toyota. What do you want? Yeah, yeah. I've been in it. Toyota. Hey, uh, I had a landlord for my old store, and uh, I bought a Jaguar in '89. Mm -hmm. And the landlord said, when the tenant buys a Jaguar, it, he's raising it. Uh, yeah raise the rent yeah yeah i'm paying them too much well you know I'm, i i often think with doctors you know it's like what you need a new yacht you know yeah. but i mean like this the one doctor i told you he wants me to i only want to get the test for the platelets that's all he told me i needed to get i don't have to uh -huh. have it for my urine which i go to my <laughs> urologist for or my my uh, 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 kidneys which are better now than they were nine a year and nine months ago I mean, oh, what you think that in 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 one month things are going to get worse or better? I mean, come on, you know. I mean, I'm just tired of all of this. I don't need this. And uh, you know, I was talking to Shecky uh, today, yesterday about this, and he said, "You know what I do, I've done?" I said, "What?" He said, "I quit taking all my pills." Is that okay? I quit taking all my medicine. He says, "You have no idea how much better I feel." I had I had a guy come in to. Uh -huh. All my fire extinguishers at the store it's only mm -hmm. five right mm -hmm. it cost me five hundred and twenty five dollars so i i looked up online i from walmart i can buy the same fire extinguisher uh, uh a pair of two uh, uh they're fifty dollars a piece so why is it you can buy it there brand yeah. just for 250 dollars this guy charges the ones I have, you know, because they have to be inspected and charged every year or two, and and they charge me five hundred twenty-five dollars. You know, this is this is so commonplace. But, but you see, what we have going today, for instance, I honestly believe that we should have universal health care in America. Everybody gets health care free. The government pays for it. Okay, wait a minute. Let me finish. Let me finish, Phil. I'm going to keep talking so you can't be heard. Uh, and secondly, I think all dentals should be taken care of. And I'll tell dental you why. Care. Number one, it does affect people's health health if oh, they've got bad yeah. teeth. And secondly, okay, let's say you lose these teeth here. And you can't afford to have them fixed. Try looking for a job. Or Ooh. trying to eat corn on the cob. Huh? He's just going through the curtains. There he is. Okay. Uh, what, <laughs> the beard. Gone. That's good. What, what were you saying about corn on the cob? Yeah. But well, what, without these teeth, you're yeah. not going to be. No, able but to what eat I'm saying is, I think it, we don't consider it a part of health care, and, and it should be considered a prime part of health care. <laughs> and really, come on, how much money do each and every one of us pay in taxes every year? Shouldn't we get something for our money? And shouldn't health insurance be free because we're paying our goddamn taxes? Government insurance. You went into the other room <laughs> just to do that joke. It's like Bela Lugosi. <laughs> Remember Meet the Monsters? It looks so much better. Yeah, I was yeah, going to say, really. it, was, it is an improvement. Yeah. Uh, now he's starting to look like Donald Trump. No, he looks a little like he looks hair. a little like Louis Black, actually. Yeah. 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 Um, but anyway, my my point is that with all the money you pay in taxes, and God knows I paid over a million dollars in taxes in my time. Okay, I should get something at this point in my life besides having to pay three hundred dollars a month for supplemental insurance to Medicare. You know? Yeah, you know when my mom was sick, Alex, with cancer, she was. 
when she worked at A&S, she had better insurance when she had the, uh, the uh, when she retired, the, uh, what you call it? The, Medicare. Uh, Medicare. Yeah, but yeah. still, but she was still Medicare, o- Medicare only takes care of 80%. Yeah, we had to why, do the supplemental why, thought. Too, why, yeah. does, why does it only take care of... I should care- have picked the whole thing well, up. Hold on a second. Why does it only take care of 80%? That makes no sense to me whatsoever. Yeah, we had to get into the supplemental. I remember that. Yes, yeah. Phil. Phil, oh, want, yeah. Phil, Phil has yeah. his hand out there. The new pamphlet for Medicare yesterday in the mail. Mm-hmm. What they said was uh, that uh, dental... Uh, it, it, it's expanded the Medicare, and they're going to start covering dental and a few other things. You have to get the, you know, whatever their advance is. The plus uh, plan. Uh, and they're going to cover implants. Kaiser uh, implants. He loves the Kaiser. But well, Kaiser's going to do implants. But what I'm saying is, I, I don't know. I haven't seen that yet. Take away your hand now, Phil. Uh, <laughs> only when you need it. Or do you want to keep it up there all the time, and we'll just shut up? That works. <laughs> um, yeah, I hear they're going to, but they haven't done it yet, though. Medicare doesn't cover dental yet. Uh, it'll be uh, the you know this this coming year. Oh, really? Uh, huh. Uh, doesn't that depend on whether we get the the uh, new bill that the, the what's it called the concil- reconciliation bill passed? I know uh, I know that uh, Social Security has gone up almost six percent. For the first time since I retired 13 years ago. It's the first time in 30 years it's gone that high. Yeah. That's, that's embarrassing. That's the good news. The bad news, it's a cost of living increase. Yeah. <laughs> going up to $18. Come on. And doubling gas. Our mother went on Sunday. $30. Come on. It's expensive. Right. What, Phil? Yeah, that's what they said. From Social Security, uh, and it was uh, the, the retroactive a difference in uh, what they should have paid. You know what you should do? Turn your mic up a little bit. Maybe that will help. <clears throat> that could. No, help. he's fine. Just leave him like this. The <laughs> <laughs> The less we can hear from Phil, the better, right? Yeah. I like the option of muting. Hey, uh, Jeff is here. Jeff's always very quiet. Always a quiet person. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, the quiet people you got to be careful with. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> He just sits there and looks good. <laughs> we have rain tonight. We have rain tonight in California. Yes, I just drove through it. Really? Yeah. Oh, oh, by the way, I was talking about my friend Shecky, who just said he stopped all his drugs, you know, everything. And that it, he feels much better now. Until he has a heart attack or a stroke. Well, I, I know what he's saying, because I'm taking, I have a pill here called Tamulosin, which is... To make Phil probably knows what it is. It's to help, pill. help you make pee make you pee better, right? Right. Really? Right. Yeah. Uh, and I also take this Cialis. Uh, the uh, I forget the name for it. Now. Extra strength. What's Tadalafil. it? The Tadalafil. Uh, and you know how I've been telling you the last couple of nights that I've been lightheaded all day and dizzy uh-huh. and so on, and I couldn't figure out what it was, and I looked up these drugs, and both the Cialis and the Tamulosin side effects are lightheadedness and dizziness. I think every uh-huh. drug on the market. And what happened it. is I was <laughs> taking both of these, and I probably if I should only have been taking one, and I didn't take them yesterday, and I only took one of them today. I took the one that get me a, give me a hard on before I take the one that doesn't, and believe it or not, uh, I'm I'm feeling much better today. Mm-hmm. You know, so so maybe he's right. You know, maybe all these pills we take are you know. I mean, how do we know the cholesterol lowering pill may help you lower your cholesterol, but what happens if you have high cholesterol but no symptoms? Well, you don't have symptoms with high cholesterol. No, it's like high blood pressure. You don't have symptoms to it. Well, you know. I, mean, I would ask your doctor about taking you off some of the pills. And that way you'll know what ones are important to keep you alive and protect you. It's just as you get older, they just say, oh, here, have a pill. Have since, a pill. since I started this new uh, diet or eating plan through yeah. my gene, my sugars have been totally under control right now uh, you can't see it. it's 108 108 you know normally uh, my sugars were in the 150s mm-hmm. yeah i think that you can control all of these things with diet uh, 
Mm-hmm. Of course, he had a four-pound steak at dinner. Yeah. No, but that if the steak wouldn't raise his his, his sugar blood sugar no, at wouldn't. all. That's no, it wouldn't. Yeah. Now, did he, he have a point. potato? Did he have a potato? No, no? then no, he's fine. no carbs at dinner. He did good. Yeah. So I mean, you know, I mean, if you have a steak tomorrow uh, on the way to work, he'll stop and get a Whopper or two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Brian lost a lot of weight, and he did it through diet, and. Uh, you know, but I think the reason he's looking so much younger. <laughs> but so I'm gonna do my eyes next. Yeah. Like I'll, I'll look another ten years. <laughs> Boy, I love the way my eyes. I can do this now with them. Woo! <laughs> astonishment. <laughs> you know, I never looked astonished before. So. Yeah. You know, should so have well, the, should I have the bags done? Nah. No. Yeah. Sure. Why? Now Phil well, Phil says he'll pay for. That's them. only four thousand dollars, or as I Ooh. like to put it, eight hours of lawyer time. <laughs> Uh, you know. Well, if you have a choice, I'd take the bags over the lawyer. Time. Well, you know, the lawyer's going to get paid anyway, and it's just eventually I'm going to be completely broke. You know, if he asks for the money, just say your money's right here. <laughs> it's in the eyes. Just, yeah, your, <laughs> right. your money's here, right, right, right here. Right here. Yeah. Yeah. What are you talking about? Figure it out. But I'm yeah. judging everything now by lawyer time. You know? That's what you should do, yeah, because it's so much. Yeah, I could Your buy. lawyer's expensive. You, could take a vacation. you should make sure one of those Wait nice minute. cruises. I, could buy, like I could buy a new car, and it probably would <laughs> yeah. only be 50 hours in lawyer time. They make a lot. <laughs> you know? If it makes you feel better to do it, you might as well do it. You, you only live once. And yeah. you know, if, if you think that getting rid of the bags will... Phil, uh, I'm, I'm 90, I'm 81, 91. I'm 81 years old. I'm going to be right. 82 in December. Right. How many more years do I have left? If I were going to get the bags taken care of, I'd want to know I got at least 10 years of looking good. You know. You know, you're gonna you're gonna leave it to Biden for his kid. Well, it always I, I, comes I, back to Biden. It always comes back to Biden. Lay off mm -hmm. Biden. He's an old man. Leave him alone. He's donated. donated to the uh, to the deficit, you know, to bring the deficit down. Whatever you got left when you die, we'll just print more cash. Come right in. You don't need to be buried. What? Uh, do you know the difference between the national debt and the deficit? No. Yeah, the deficit has to do with how much we produce our gross national product, and uh, uh, mm -hmm. and how much uh, we're we're buying from other countries, right? Mm -hmm. I think I guess I don't know. I'm asking know. you because oh. the, the debt is different than the deficit. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you know, somebody explained to me the other day about Bitcoin and how well, it well, works. Wait, wait, hold on a second. Mm -hmm. I love how everybody, how how you Republicans love to blame Democrats for a national debt and a deficit, which was really incurred under the previous administration. Uh, only a couple of trillion. <laughs> Eight trillion dollars in four years. That was Trump. Eight trillion dollars because of his stupid tax cut. I think Trump should pay for Alex's lawyer bills. Yeah. Do you know how many lawyers' hours there is in eight trillion? Uh, yeah, a lot. <laughs> well, uh, I, about 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 uh, uh, sixteen trillion hours. Yeah. You know, for eight trillion dollars, you could probably get your prostate replaced, Phil. A transplant from a cow or something. Yeah. By the way, do you see where they, where they have a new thing now where, uh, let's say, you need a kidney, which, you know, I could possibly need. If I'm if I'm losing kidney function, eventually I might need a kidney. And, of course, you know, my age, they probably say, let them die or stick them on a dialysis machine three <laughs> no. days a week. Uh, but what happened now is they've got a new technology in which they take a animal uh, kidney and transplant it to a human being oh, wow. uh, and because of certain kinds of things they do with uh, DNA and things like that they alter the kidney and it can be put in a human being huh. so a lot of pigs are now sweating it it's yeah, bad enough that. bad enough <laughs> they become pork ribs at, at Ruth, Ruth Chris's but you know did Jeff invent that I don't know I did yeah. Not yet. Big mouth. 
Yeah, but no, it, it, it's coming to a to a hospital near you. I mean, they they they've already done it where they've taken, they've attached it to a person's arm, and the kidney has remained pink and alive and everything for like eight hours or something like that, or maybe a couple of days, I think. And they they finally had to remove it because nobody wants to walk around with a kidney on their arm. Big parts are used for uh, in uh, in uh, trans not transplants they, but in. They, uh, heart, what are they heart, used for, Jeff? They're used. Heart valves. They're used for heart valves. Yeah. Heart valves. Yeah. yeah. Whatever. Whatever they use from the pig works in a in a person. But if you're kosher, you can't use it. <laughs> Actually, I think they said <laughs> not true. Uh, yeah. You know that. Um, uh, what, what do they call it in Hebrew? Uh, the nevish or something, where you're allowed to uh, violate certain rules for the preservation of life. Well, I think that eating pork is certainly part of the preservation of life because well, ribs are the that. best you got thing. Your COVID vaccine, preservation of life. If I could eat ribs for the rest of my life and <laughs> avocados, I'd be happy. Uh, so anyway, uh, uh, Brian, uh, how's uh, how's everything at work? Uh, is is the business still good? Yeah, yeah, we're getting close to uh, opening the Lodi building, so it's pretty exciting. Right See, now. what what he does is his company builds. Uh, I don't know if I have it here anymore. I think I put it over there. Tests, uh, a test basically for COVID, uh, and, and a lot and of the other things too. And a lot of other things. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and we we well we not we as in me, but the company the originators they invented the 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 device that tests for it. And all the chemicals and everything. Yeah, so they. I like the sign on the Altamont that you posted. Yeah, yeah, we have uh, a lot of advertising for the Lodi facility because of Amazon's out there, you know. So they're they're gobbling up a lot of people. But we've had some job fairs because we weren't sure if we we're going to get enough people uh, to start these positions. And man, we're getting a lot of people going through yeah. the interviews. So it's. Really awesome. By the way, I have your hat on tonight. Yeah, I, I have another hat for you, um, oh, okay. uh, a new one. Oh, yeah, good. So. Yeah, these are really nice. They, they're great. I love the way they look. You yeah, know. my head's just too big. Too much brain. <laughs> really, too much brain. Yeah. Okay. What are you going to say, Phil? I said, Brian, send me a couple of applicants. I, I, I don't know where you to, but they don't want to sell floor covering, that's for sure. <laughs> I'll, a I'll ask them when I'm doing the interviews. Well, would you like this job or really would you like floor coverings? Well, sell me, Phil, uh, you know, because I'm out of work. I could use a job. Why, on out. why should oh. I come out to California and go to work yeah. for Carpet One? one. Have, Alex, have Alex advertise for you. Remember Alex Bennett from Live 105? He's buying carpet for he's, Phil. He's selling carpet. He's selling carpet. Carpet One conquered. You yeah. know, when I had an answering machine, uh, Alex would, uh, he, he didn't, uh, he, we didn't get around to doing it, but he said that he would do my outgoing message. You know, this is like back in the early 80s when you had answering machines. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I, I didn't get around to, uh, to, to having him do it, but. Uh, that would have required you to read the directions. Yeah, so this, is the thing, this is the thing, by the way, I'm, I'm praying to everybody who's watching this program right now. If you make an outgoing answering machine message, please, please make it as short as humanly possible. Oh, Jesus, yes. I hate these people who suddenly decide, oh, I'm going to sing a song, or I'm going to spend a minute talking to you before I... Because, uh, there are people I used to call that I stopped calling them because I didn't want to have to sit there and wait through the whole goddamn it's, message. It's Am I right, Charlie? Don't use turn signals. Hey, Alex, if, if you have having a medical emergency, call 911 or call GabNet. <laughs> you, know, you, know how you, you call up and, and any doctor's office, even dentist, well, if you're having a medical emergency, call 911. No, here's the part I love in all of these is when they say, and they don't mean it, your call is very important to us. Well, if it was important to you, then a live human being would be talking to me right now. Okay. Or they say the, the options have changed, so please listen closely. Oh, God, I hate that. I didn't, know, I didn't know what the options were before that. Exactly. Well, either yeah. that, or I've known what the options are for five years now, but you've never changed that message saying that the options have changed. I actually, when I used an answering machine at the store, I said, the, 
the options have really changed. <laughs> you know, uh, you know. So, uh, you know, listen, listen to the message. But uh, as we now have a real president on his answering machine. Yeah, I, 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 well, it's, how, what is my what does my message say on my phone? I think it's very very short. If I'm not mistaken. Leave a message or fuck off. Wait a minute, where where is my where are my oh, voicemail? There we go. And then I I go edit. Oh, greeting. Okay. Uh, play my greeting. Okay, let me play it here. Let me see. Come on. Go play. Hi, this is Alex Bennett. There's no one here right now, so leave a message at the sound of the tone. Is that fine? That sounds good. It sounds like Tony made it for you with his accent. That's, well, that's the one I would have made for Phil had I ever done his, but, yeah. Hmm. Recorded voice always sounds different than what you think it sounds like. And, you know, your voice, when we hear you on, on the Zoom, uh, has, has a different tone and inflection than your outgoing message. Well, did. no, it's, it's probably the same if you were to actually call it and hear it on the phone. Because I was taking a speaker and playing it into the microphone here and so on. Maybe you but ought to the, start a company, Alex. You know, you know it's very funny. You, you, you're right. Me. Everybody here who's ever recorded their voice says, boy, that doesn't sound like me. How many here think it doesn't sound like them when they it hear it? It sounds a little voice? different, maybe, because yeah. right, your voice is recorded. I'm not, now, uh, not you, Jeff? Or do you, how do I, you? Think, uh, I think what I, li what I hear is different than you think. Okay. Yeah. But, About but, the same but thing. let me say this. I know my voice when I hear it recorded. I don't think it sounds any different because I've learned now after years of broadcasting and taping myself and announcing and so on what my voice sounds like. So I know what it sounds like when I'm talking right now. Obviously, you're not going to hear yourself like you hear yourself in a recording mm -hmm. because what you're hearing is your voice from here to say the microphone. Okay? Whereas... The, when you're just talking, you're hearing from your head. You're hearing inside your head. So that you're hearing an entirely different version of your voice than you hear other other people hear your voice. So. Yes, and when I speak, I think I talk like this, but I don't speak like this. Right. Yeah, my voice mm -hmm. sounds good until I listen to it recorded. And then I say, I, I sound like that. You know, I mean, you sound like you know, a let me, let me tell you the other thing that, that this the last couple of days has gotten to me. Everybody's written me about the fact that a station I worked for in San Francisco, Live 105, Walmart. just changed its name to Dave FM. I, my Dave. Okay, whatever. You know, whatever you want to call it. You can call it Poo Poo oh. Kaka FM. It doesn't matter. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> People, <laughs> excuse me. <coughs> I just coughed down some. If you have a known voice. I mean, but wait a minute, let me finish with this Dave FM thing. So they're all writing me, going, "Isn't it sad? It's the it's, it's the end of an era, and there's no more live 105." And I'm thinking, there was no live 105 for the last 10, 15 years. I mean, the station mm -hmm. you remember stopped doing that format and doing it in that way. 15, 20 years ago. So, you know, don't bemoan the fact that it's gone. It was gone a long time ago. And what's really odd and interesting is the people who created Live 105 and made it modern rock and everything like that, the format that, you know, you know me from, then sold the station to CBS. Okay? And then guess what? When this company got bigger, they bought it back from CBS. So the people who just changed it to Dave are the people who started Live 105. Mm. So, be that uh, as it may. I let my serious uh, thing expire because I got a new credit card. It got compromised. And so they were charging me monthly. And uh, so I let it expire. And I started listening to FM and AM radio for the last couple of weeks i'm sorry for you i i can't tell you how bad radio is in the bay area and, uh yeah i i now I'm, I'm using pandora rather than listen to uh you know, fm and am you do and, know that that uh, this show is on pandora really yeah yeah we're on pandora yeah, really I, I get enough of it on wednesdays yeah but it's on pandora 
It's also on Spotify, and it's also on uh, iHeartRadio. And I just applied to, what was it, Odyssey, which is the company that used to be Intercom, which is the company that I worked for at Live 105. And uh, I just, uh, uh, you know. Can you tell how many listeners you get, for instance, on Pandora and these other services? No, because they all show up in the same place as a number. Hey, uh, you uh, mentioned avocados. Yes. Now, huh? I like them. In New York, I never even knew avocados existed. I didn't see them until I came out to California. Uh, you know, well, is that, uh, it could be because avocados probably weren't out here as much because this was not an avocado growing area. But now, since we import all these avocados from like Brazil or whatever, they're everywhere. There isn't yeah. a place in the world you can go that you can't find an avocado. Maybe Afghanistan because it has to wear a veil or something. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, nah, you know, so I I was just surprised. I had never seen an avocado living in New York. I didn't even know they existed. And uh, you know, I moved to California, and everybody's eating sprouts and avocados and and stuff like that. It took me a while before I broke down and tried it. Yeah, yeah. But uh, anyway, so that yeah. But over the weekend, people say, "Did you do anything?" And uh, no, I. The excitement I had was I bought a new curry coffee maker. <laughs> yeah. They don't. They don't last very long, do they? You yeah. know what? I don't give a shit. This thing, after a a discount at uh, at Costco, uh, wound up costing me a hundred and three dollars. And they give you about or, thirty or, or or as I think of it, fifteen minutes with my lawyer. Yeah. You know, if you when you buy a new Keurig, you get a bunch of K cups. Uh, they, they come with yeah, the but they're none of the ones I like. You know, right. it's like Green Valley Vanilla. Hey, fuck you. you play decaf, huh? huh? What? You get some decaf. You get some uh, hot chocolate. Uh, yeah, an eight pack of junk. Yeah. You know, yeah. I, I, the, I I stopped getting Keurigs because they keep dying all the time. I bought a Cuisinart that uses the Keurig thing. And it's got a three-year warranty. And when the hey, thing listen, dies, it's two but years. The, the current that I had just went out, and I think maybe it was five, six years, maybe oh, really? longer. Oh, really? God, than I had yeah. horrible luck. And, with them. and what I did is I then went online. I mean, I bought this new one, but then I went online because I was determined not to have a dead Keurig sitting in my house. And I went on to Amazon. I went, I'm looking for this part, $22. I got it within 24 hours. You just pull one out. It's the bu little bucket thing in there. And, yeah. and you just pull it out and put a new one in. Everything is working fine, making a great cup of coffee. There you go. You know? So, I mean, that thing probably would have lasted another five years. My Cuisinarts would go for two, two and a half years. I use them all the time. But and didn't you buy one? Orders. I think Phil bought one, and it broke fast, didn't it? I had a Cuisinart. I had several Keurigs. Uh, they all they all broke. I gave up on the Keurigs. I bought the Cuisinart. That one went down the tubes. Uh, the one at the store, the Keurig at the store, has been working for years. Uh, and I use a regular uh, drip Bona Vita, I think it's called, uh, for, uh, for coffee in, at home. Well, this one that I got was, uh, let me see here if I, if I still have it up here. Um, uh, let me see here. Keurig, yeah, Keurig, let's see here. It was, it's... Uh, uh, it's the uh, what one is it? Uh, here it is. It's the. Uh, in fact, I can I can show people here because I mm -hmm. I have a way of showing my computer. I think we can do it. There we go. It's this one right here, folks. Uh, it's a Keurig Supreme Plus coffee maker, and at Costco, I mean at uh, Keurig. It's uh, one hundred and fifty-five dollars, or at Amazon, it's one hundred fifty-five dollars. But as I say, I got money off on it, and uh, you know, uh, I got it for one hundred and three bucks at Costco. I'm very happy about that. You know? Never try a Nespresso. No, I've thought about it, but you know, I only want espresso every once in a while. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know. 
kind of tasty. There was one in a hotel room that uh, I stayed in, uh, and it was really good. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure it's. I'm sure they're good, but they're also expensive. What do you do for coffee, Brian? You look like you're a coffee drinker in the morning. Right? Yeah, I just do black coffee, one cup at at work, and that's all. I'm good for the day. Really, I yeah. do. I do a cup in the morning when I get up, and it. I put some non sugary sweetener in there, and then I've got this stuff. I can't, I'm trying to remember the name of it now, but it it's uh, it's creamer, but it has no carbs in it, and it's really good. It's really Where'd good. Where did you get that from? Hmm? Uh, get, uh, no, I, I, I originally I got that from my local grocery store, and then they stopped carrying it. So I now buy it on uh, on uh, um, on the Amazon site. They send me, you know, three of them on Amazon. Let me see what's what's the name of it. I'll tell you in a second here. Yeah, and you talked about a chocolate you guys get at Costco that's like low carb or something. Oh no, it's it's the ice cream. Well, here, by the way, here's here's what it was. Here it is. Uh, it's um, uh, it's uh, soup. What is it? It, it, it? That's a weird name. That's not the name of it. It's super. It's it's called Super Creamer. That's what it's called. And it uh, I get it in a couple flavors. You know that you can get it in. But what were you what were you talking about, uh, Brian? Oh, oh, you oh, see, uh, I thought uh, you said you got chocolate from Costco, not ice cream. I thought it was chocolate. It's ice cream. Oh, really? And and it's uh, keto, it, and oh, yeah, keto yeah, yeah. keto bars, and they're Ooh. caramel and the chocolate, and they add only two net carbs per ice cream. And it's not like they go, well, these are these are low net carb chocolate bars. Mm -hmm. Look how small they are. <laughs> you know, they give you a little <laughs> tiny one. No, this thing's huge. Really? Yeah, and terrific. We Marjorie and I share one every night. It's that big. Mm -hmm. yeah. so. We still laugh when we walk around and see that depends. Oh, the depends. You like you like the depends. Marjorie and I have not been there in a while. Well, we did go there a couple of months ago, and I don't know that she made a joke about the depends. I think she finally gave up on it, or or she <laughs> forgot about it. You know. Or maybe she doesn't love me anymore, and she doesn't want to make the depends jokes. It's every time, folks, we went by the uh, the uh, uh, where they have the depends, and they they don't just have a small display; they have a huge. Have you ever been to Costco and seen the yeah. display for depends? And it's huge boxes of depends. It's like you know, uh, and and um, she would always run over and grab a big box of them and say. Alex, you need your depends, don't you? Oh God! And then I uh, at the top of her lungs. Yeah. Signed up for the Harvard Medical Newsletter, and uh, in the last one that came, there was a thing where I could get uh, a thing for a better bladder and bowel control. <laughs> there you go. You know, when you get after you've had cancer and radiation and stuff like that, mm -hmm. you actually need this stuff. And uh, so I'm, I'm going to buy the book. It's uh, save 30 percent. But mm -hmm. uh, that this coupon came with the uh, Harvard newsletter. And it's mm -hmm. funny that you mentioned this because I, I'm looking at it. And it's hard to see, but it, it's for better bowel and, uh, and, and matter control. Yeah, I was um, uh, there is this uh, there is this item that Kimmel was showing an ad for it that is out and it is a testicle warmer <laughs> it, it's, it's like a little, uh, uh, you I saw know. it right what is this again it's a testicle warmer so you can warm up your gonads and make them less effect make the sperm less effective it's a form of as a form of birth control right birth control. but i don't think they guarantee it do they and how hard how hot do your nuts have to be <laughs> you know and then once you're through, you, you probably got to keep your your nuts in this thing <laughs> and then just unlatch it when you're ready to have sex and hope you come fast enough so the sperm don't come back to life again because they're really drowsy, you know. <laughs> That's funny. Swim. But uh, it, it, everybody comes up with something, <clears throat> you know. Uh, you know, you got 40. What? Uh, 
40, 40 people, people watching? watching Whoop de fucking yeah. do. I used to have 50, you know. But. That's okay. F 10 of them died from COVID. <laughs> oh, and while they were waiting for <laughs> something good to happen on this show, you know. Uh, let me see here. No, 39 it says here on mine. Yeah. Well, we lost one. well, somebody left. Whoever they were, to hell with you. We don't need you anyway. Okay. Um, so anyway, so I, uh, you know, for the most part, I took my little walk today, and it was a little difficult for me. Cause I've been walking a lot. Uh, you know, I like walking, but the problem is that, um, you know, the weather's been changeable, and it's been a problem. And uh, then Marjorie always says to me, I'm, well, I have a delivery coming from uh, Fresh Direct, so could you stay home <laughs> so I don't go out because I'm waiting for Fresh Direct to come with what is really very mediocre food. Have you ever had, ordered any of you from Fresh Direct? Once or twice. I haven't gotten it for a while, though. It's okay. There are a couple of things that are okay, but for the most I part, can't. it's very mediocre. Yeah. Yes, I mean, you know, I, I tried it, but I'd rather go to the store and pick out my own stuff, really. You know, companies like Walmart that sell uh, produce and food, the produce is, all looks the same. It looks good, but it doesn't have any flavor or anything like that because uh, I think that they they want some sort of consistency in the in in, in everything they have, and they. They buy it or may uh, or grow it in such a way mm -hmm. that you're not getting really high quality food. You're just getting something that looks like food. You know, mm -hmm. what do yeah. they call that? The uh, uh, the assist the the, the just so what? There's the what? Food. Food. Oh, it's called food, Phil. <laughs> you just ate it for dinner, uh, Stan. Uh, genetically altered. Oh, food. genetic. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. GMO, yeah. yeah. And uh, and the stuff, you know, they they're big. They look they look right, but they're not they're not good, and and they don't taste good. They don't have any. Well, I don't think food tastes as good as it used to. Anyway, I mean, you go out even to a good butcher shop and buy yourself a nice thick steak, and most of the time it sucks. Yeah. You know, it's you not like it right used place. to be. No, it's not as tasty as it used to be. Now I'll tell you, we do have a place called Stu Leonard's. When wow, Marjorie sure. goes there, she gets nice thick steaks for me, and they mm -hmm. are just really delicious. But it's rare to find. You can't find it in supermarkets when the stuff's in the plastic, you know. They never cut a thick slice of it. And it's and so Marjorie sometimes is ordering meat. She ordered meat the other day from Fairway. And she said, oh, this is only $16. I went, oh, okay. So she orders and it comes and it's thirty dollars because there were two steaks in the plastic thing. They were good, but thirty dollars, uh, thirty-two dollars. I said, sixteen bucks. It, it was sixteen dollars a pound, dear, not sixteen dollars for the steak. Well, my steak tonight was fifty-seven. Oh my yeah. God, yeah. How thick was it? It was pretty. Thick. Thick. It was thick. Hmm? Uh, yeah. People are. There's a lot of things that are very. And, and very how big did you say your penis different. was? Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's about as thick as Alex. That's that's six inches, huh? It's, that's six inches. Oh, I see. Okay. Internet inches. Internet inches. Yeah. That's right. Let's see here. What do you what do you say? Uh, uh, let's see here. Somebody wrote. Where was it? Brian Neary, I saw the 1958 Nomad station wagon today. Do you know what he's talking about? Uh, just a car, yeah, nice car. Okay. Not a McLaren, though, right? Yeah. Two doors and a and it's a wagon. Not a McLaren. Not somebody's going to charge you 600 bucks to look at it. Check you your know, oil. Turn off your your check engine light. Right. Um, mm -hmm. and he says I once went to into Hobby Lobby and asked what aisle contraceptives can be located and the lady looked like she heard it a thousand times oh hobby lobby oh hobby lobby oh okay oh yeah okay there yeah right. for that shit super christian yeah. yeah yeah we actually we have a meet we have a thing like once a month and it's a hobby lobby in um, um morgan hill because they have mm -hmm. a big parking lot and since they're not open on sundays we go there so 
Yeah. That close because of And it says, yeah. uh, is it me or does Phil interject the most left field topics consistently? And John Redshaw then wrote, too much news, Max. Um, I have an answer for him. Yeah? You. <laughs> It was cut off a little bit there, folks. He was going. My answer for him is blah blah blah. <laughs> well, that uh, that way uh, by doing that, I'm, I'm not going to be. I'm it's still going to be able to run commercials on the program. You know? Yeah. Oh, that, it's like a seven second delay. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, so uh, we uh, we have uh, let's see, we have our election coming up here in New York for mayor. Uh, who are you going to vote for, Tony? I'm voting for Curtis. Why are you voting for Curtis? I I like him. I do like. I watched that debate. Curtis Lee, well, well look, Curtis. I got I got to admit, I could say nasty things about Curtis, but he has nothing but nice things to say about me. He he. Oh, he likes you. He's then, a fan you? of mine. See, that's even better now. For but me. the I fact that he is the worst kind of right winger. You know what I like? What they said to makes me want to have him hate me. You know. <laughs> But you, you know what the guy said? He goes, he made up, remember you said he made up those things for the Guardian Angels? They brought it up tonight in the debate. You made up accusations about things that didn't happen. He says, I apologize for that. Well, you know, what happened was he, you know, he was the head of the Guardian Angels, which years ago was like a vigilante group, which I don't agree I with I having. I don't believe in vigilante groups. And they would go around wearing their little outfits with their red berets. All right. Yeah, same around. The guy mm -hmm. is now 70 years old or something. I don't know. He's still wearing the goddamn red beret. <laughs> huh? Probably bald. He uses it as a nut warmer. Yeah. 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 <laughs> he's always in the neighborhood. I saw him by the park when they had we had problems. He's he's always around. We see him a lot. Yeah, I mean, he's, well, he lives in Queens. He lives in Forest Hills. He, he's not going to win. You know, there's no, no chance know. he's going to win. How, how, was, how did Adams do in those debates? And what you it know, doesn't matter he, how he's going to do. He's going to win. That's it. He's, yeah, he's a Democrat and he's going to win. He didn't really answer much. You know, the, no? the last I time mean, a Republican won in this city was when Bloomberg <laughs> became mayor. No, oh, yeah, you're right. You're right, Bloomberg. I keep and then he became a Democrat and then he became an independent. Yeah, that's what it was. He was clearly yeah. not a Republican. But, but yeah, Bloomberg right. was, uh, was, you know. I miss Hmm? Yeah, I miss Bloomberg. So Tony, Tony's going Republican. No. Well, I'm independent. You'll love it, huh? <laughs> but I have to say, I don't like Warren Alex. I can't take that woman. I can't take. You can't her. take who? Pocahontas. Warren Pocahontas. She gets on my nerves. Why would you suddenly bring right, up? She's Warren. the one standing up for you. I I think she's over the top. No, <laughs> really, I don't feel. I don't like her. I, she rubs me the wrong way. I don't know what it is about her. Well, you know. You know. I don't know. I just, <laughs> I just don't like her. I don't. Well, like who her. would you like rather her. have sex with, Marjorie Taylor Greene or Ocasio Cortez? <laughs> I mean, I guess the. the one from I think I think I made my point. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, Phil said she was a bartender. Is that true? Yeah. Yeah, but she went to a good college, Phil. I don't think she's not stupid. She went to yeah, she, she went to bartender was, college. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Hey, there's yeah, our theme. Our theme is playing. Hey, this has been fun, Phil. Thanks for sticking around. Uh, and keep keep your whole system that way. It's great. It keeps you from really interrupting. Yeah. Don't uh, fix anything. Don't fix anything. <laughs> oh, it's good. perfect. Perfect. Uh, Brian, great to have you back. God, you know, I think the world of you. And when we were, didn't have you on, I was getting depressed. That feels good. Uh, yeah. Tomorrow's Adrian's birthday. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, Thanks for going on 20. Oh, wow. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and, and, of course, Charlie, always good to have you here. Tony, great to have you here. Alan, nice to have you. A little drunk from dinner and full of morning. cigar smoke. And, uh, and Jeff. Great to have you here. Everybody, give a big wave goodbye, and I'll give a big wave goodbye at you. Okay, there they go, folks. All righty, there they go. That's them. Okay, let me see here. I'm a little out of sync, so if I just take them out of the, uh, take them off. Okay, there we go. I probably slowly will get back into sync here. Watch, watch, watch what happens. See, now I'm uh, I'm pretty much back in sync. 
Anyway, it always happens. Don't worry about it. I don't care anymore. You know? Uh, I just care what you know, my lawyer's charging me. Anyway, that tomorrow night we'll be back here at, uh, at 10.30. Same time. Same station in life. Jack Bishop is next with the intersection. And by the way, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? And on top of that, get vaccinated if you haven't done so. Get your third vaccination if you haven't done so. And if you do none of those things, then slap a mask on your face. See you tomorrow night. Bye-bye, everybody. <laughs>